Let's shift our attention to, to SHIB. Um, let's take a look at what's going on with Shiba Inu. Uh, SHIB is definitely pulled back a little bit. And I think you and I, uh, I did a video on this earlier and you did one as well. And I don't think we even talked this morning. We both, we both added to our proverbial bags on Shiba Inu because of that bad boy right there, we gave up a zero. So what's your, you know, what's your opinion here, Zach? Do you think this is a bad thing? You know, oh my God, the sky is falling and, and, you know, we should all jump off the proverbial ship. Uh, the fact that, that Shib's gone back a zero, what's your, uh, what's your two cents? I love it. I love it because I'm a long-term SHIB holder. You know, we, we, we both are. We've been talking about that since early 2021. My target date for SHIB has always been 2025. Now, yes, have I traded SHIB in between that time frame? 100%. Right. But I got in early, relatively early in 2021 and said, listen, this is going to be my long-term SHIB bag. I'm going to add it when these sort of things happen. One of the things that I want to see is that five zero number. Anytime we get there, I like to add there. We, we had that happen a few times last year in 2022. We actually dialed back, if you remember, all the way to the 507, I think, right? Yep. 08 for sure. Yep. Uh, and now we're back at this 509. We've been holding this support for a really long time. We knew we were going to get a breakout or a breakdown, a little bit of a breakdown because, again, everybody out there, remember, SHIB is a massive market cap. It moves now so closely with Ethereum and with Bitcoin when you're this big in terms of its market cap, it is so closely tied to these big cryptos. That's why you're seeing the alternative space, the meme coin space, which we're going to get into that later on in the live stream, some of the newer tokens, a lot of money shuffling around. And I definitely think there are some people saying, hey, I'm going to take some of my SHIB profits or maybe even whatever it is. Maybe it's even at a loss and go chase this hot new thing over here. Yeah. That's okay, especially if you have a long-term time horizon and I do with SHIB. So I'm looking at this as a big opportunity for me. How about you? Yeah. And I think, I think you hit on a couple of interesting points there. Um, the volume is interesting to me. The volume pump is, is interesting. Um, you know, but that's not necessarily positive volume, right? It's just volume. So people right. are selling a lot buys and sales. Uh, so the volume being up 81% yet we're down 3.5. And I want to answer your question, but I want to jump back out to the macro. I mean, down 4%. We're seeing Bitcoin, Ethereum moving down pretty significantly. I think this is kind of ahead of, you know, the the the, the speech we talked about or we have talked about in, in a lot. But back to SHIB. Yeah, I think I viewed it as a very similar to you. And it was funny. I bought some. I know you bought some. We didn't even know. We did. I, you, know, you and I didn't talk about it. It was like, you know, called this morning. Like, hey, I bought some SHIB. Hey, so did I. You know, I just added a little bit to my bag and, and kind of kept moving from that. But I think we've also got a situation, probably part of this volume play, is you know we've got a lot of a lot of meme coin activity going on right now, right? People are I think people are are selling ship to an extent. Um, we, we you and I've seen we you and I've been covering community meme coins for so long. What do we see? We see people are like, oh my god, I'm going to sell my ship and I'm going to go buy Pepe or I'm going to go buy Bob or I'm going to go buy you know Suka or whatever it may be. I think that's going on right now um, as well. Yeah. And I and I know we're gonna. Where I want to talk about some of those other guys in a minute, but you know, final thoughts around SHIB as kind of far as looking at price action. What is your thought for SHIB right here, right now? Again, you you kind of said, "Hey, I'm buying some." What do you think the future holds here? Uh, actually, I'll ask you this question: Do you think Shibarium is on track for kind of like a still a July ish launch? What's your two cents there? Yeah, I, I do. I think later this year we we will get Shibarium. I think that could be a great catalyst. A lot of it will hinge on where the market is. So I, I really want to go back to Ethereum. We've watched SHIB follow Ethereum now so, so close. I mean, remember, guys, this is not a, you know, 20 million, 100 million, 500 million dollar market cap anymore. It's not. It's yeah. a five plus, six plus billion dollar market cap. So it is a you know, legitimate top 15 crypto that will move with the market. But I, I'll, I'll say this too, Austin, and if you want to respond to this, jump in. People forget Dogecoin was created back in 2013. Number one, it has a way, way, you know, deeper history than SHIB, right? But remember how long Dogecoin was dormant? Yep. No activity, yep. right? And then all of a sudden, Elon Musk, that whole thing happens. That launched my channel. <laughs> yeah. it, it was Elon Musk and SNL, baby. You know, that, that, 
that launched my channel back in May of 21. Yeah, exactly. Well, I say all that because we're only about two and a half years removed from SHIB launching. So again, when in doubt, zoom out. When you really look at this thing holistically, it's early. SHIB, SHIB is very, very early days still. And there's going to be some bumps in the roads. One of them are happening right now. We saw it all in 2022, but it will come back and it will have its day again. I promise you that. 